folks, welcome to the premiere episode of The Artist Nook, where each week I'm going to take a look at uh, different artist styles uh, throughout history and sort of modern artists that you might see on Instagram. And I'm going to try and show you maybe how they do their work, how I would interpret their work. Um, and I'll try and do it in quick little videos for you each week on Instagram. So thanks for joining me. If you like this episode, hit like. And uh, uh, this week we'll start off with my style. I figured that was the best place to start. So, let's head over to the Nook. We're here over in the workstation now. Um, we're getting started. I've got a uh, blank canvas here. This is 18 by 24, really. You can use any canvas that you want. Um, I've got the basic colors that I use, which are the primary colors. Blue, red, yellow, white. And, and I've put a bunch of green in here just to kind of save some time. Uh, we've got a little bit of music going. Uh, we've got our artist cap on, which is essential. Um, and so we're ready to get started. Really, you want couple of different kinds of brushes to start. Start with a, kind of a thick style of brush uh, is how I usually get going and uh, there's really no mistakes in this style which is really what's fun about um, using this particular abstract expressionist free flowing style. So uh, let's get started. We're here over in the workstation now. Alright so to start the painting uh, I create a uh, like a purplish color using the blue and red. Um, and again, use a lot of paint. This is no big deal. You can waste as much paint as you want. This is some very basic acrylic, kind of level one or level two art paint. You kind of just want some cheap stuff so you can throw it around the canvas. Um, and again, it's very free-flowing. There's no thought process involved. Just start making shapes. squiggly stuff. Um, it's just been a freestyle flow so far. Um, nothing in particular, but I'm starting to see a little bit of something I might kind of mess around with. I'm going to just start adding a little bit of bright colors against the blue and purple, which to me is yellow and orange. I'm going to see what starts shaping up out of that. I might get some green that comes out of it, but that's alright. style, I like to use a lot of opposites. So I like to go against the, the color of the center. So the opposite of purple is yellow. The opposite of blue is orangey. Start creating some brighter colors in there. Alright, so we got, all right, so we started to add some color onto the canvas. Started filling some of these lines in different spots. Um, as the picture starts to kind of create an image in your head, that's when you can start using some three dimensional elements. If there's light, perhaps with the yellow, um, it's not fully materializing itself yet to me, so I'm just going to keep working on it and keep adding different color in different spots. Um, green to me seems to be working with this purple, and I'm just going to keep filling this in with some sort of leaves and trees. but Whatever you're working on, whatever you're seeing, just keep, you know, using your instincts. You don't have to use it. You don't have to draw exactly what I'm drawing. Alright, so we started to add some color onto the canvas. Alright, so I'm starting to paint some sort of uh, monstrous flowers coming in here. Uh, maybe sunflowers or something. And then see, maybe see. In the sky, but using all bright sort of colors. Um, and as I get more detailed with it, more will come out. It just ends up depending on how far I want to go with it. And, you know, do I like the kind of the look of how abstract it is right now? Probably not. I want to add a little more to it, so I'm going to keep getting darker in certain areas within that. And 
this point now, I would I would stop and maybe come back to it the next day if I feel inspired to kind of keep working on pieces. But for now, it feels like it's kind of a scenario where you know I've shown you exactly sort of a little bit how I work with what can be an example of plan to be. And at this point, you would just get more detailed and more real with it, um, which gives it a little bit more of a you know illusion. Texture you keep putting into the painting. But here we are. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll be doing more soon. Um, I hope you join me uh, next week. I'll have, I don't know, another new idea. We'll come up with fun ideas each week. Well, that's it for this week on the Artist Nook. And I uh, hope you guys had a good time. I'm going to try and come up with these videos each week. Um, we'll come up with some new ideas each, each uh, episode. And and we'll try and have some fun. Uh, I'm Brent Norrie. Thanks for joining me, and hopefully hit the like on there. Thank you.